So that one right there, um, I got last February as a blue zebra, and as you can see, it is yellow. So I'm wondering what it is. Does anybody know? It's kind of a brat. But, uh, yeah, it's yellow. You can still see it's got some, some of its stripes, or I don't know if it's showing up or not, but it was... Where's the other one? Where are you, little buddy? I didn't breed them. I, I bought them this morning, by the way. The yellow labs were... They didn't have any yellow labs. Or I'd have gotten them. But anyways... Let's see how close I can get. Not very. But yeah. He used to be really timid. Now it's all aggressive. I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it either. Oh. Where are you, little buddy? I do have a blue zebra in there that I bought at the same time, and it has not gotten any yellow on it at all. But I can't see him. I did before I got out the camera. Where'd you go, little buddy? Maybe if I go... Oops, I didn't mean to shut it that hard. Sorry. He ain't coming out. Well, anyways, it's a normal blue zebra. <laughs> but, uh, he's not gonna show his face. Bummer. So, what are the other questions? What is that? It must be a hybrid, I assume. But, uh, are there any particular ones that get in their yellow coloring at about... Somewhere between uh, the six month mark, I think. I don't know. She's uh, I got them last February. It's January now, so it's been almost a year, a little month. And uh, I wanted to know if any in particular turn yellow and get bratty when they're doing it. Uh, as you can see, my yellow labs, or even my teeny tiny ones, are not turning yellow. They started that way. Where is my little buddy? Why won't he come out? Grr. <laughs> see, one, two, three, four, five, six. All those guys are out. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hold still. I'm counting. <laughs> I love that one. There's Topanga. Uh, as some of you who have seen any of my other videos of just her may recall, she was abs she's absolutely vicious, and I couldn't place her with anybody else because she killed them. Didn't matter how big they were didn't matter if they were the same size, didn't matter if they were the other gender, she'd just kill them. But, uh, I put them in with, I put her in with a very well-established group of similar sized ones or larger. And, uh, for some reason, she didn't really even, I mean, she, she attempted to, but this one here is my dominant one. And everybody knows it, and he came and kind of flared at her a few times, and she knocked it off, and as you can see, look at her. I'm extremely pleased about that because it, you know, they need to be in groups. <laughs> she killed her previous tank mates. Uh, it was uh, something like three other females and a male and a couple of peacocks, which I did not realize. I couldn't put them together. I was dumb. It was just dumb of me to do that, but... They were all in the same tank, so I assumed, and I shouldn't have assumed. Never assume. <laughs> Never assume when you're at a pet shop, because it's always wrong. But, uh, yeah, they were much larger than her. And I tried to put her in with another larger group. She did not get a chance to kill them. Meh. <laughs> but this group fit. So, I like that. She no longer is lonely. It's got a nice bright orange one there, and I'm wondering if it is a male or a female. I thought it was a girl, but... I 
th I still think it's a girl. I think she's just a peach. What they call a peach. Basically, it's just a doll red zebra. She was a very nice fish, though. Anyways, this is my cichlid tank. A couple of things down there. Having a cow.